Venus has been in the Kendra to Rahu and Ketu since long time. And now on second, it is going to enter the sign of Capricorn and it will stay there till 28th of December. So I'm in drikpanchang.com and as I'm making this video, Venus is still in Sagittarius. But then finally, 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 it will be out of this Rahu Ketu Kendra, which I don't like. <laughs> many of you told me that you have experienced many disruptions during this time. This generally happens if any planet comes in Kendra to Rahu and Ketu. Okay, so currently, as you know, uh, Venus is in Sagittarius and Rahu is in Pisces and Ketu is in Ketu. So it is in Kendra. So maybe many of you are experiencing or have already experienced disruptions. But now when Venus goes into the sign of Capricorn, what's going on? Uh, in Capricorn, you see Mars will be aspecting Venus. And there's another planet which will aspect, which is that planet. Well, you guessed it right. Jupiter is the other planet that is aspecting. And then after Capricorn, Saturn will be the one who is in Aquarius, uh, will be conjunct with Venus. Okay. So very, very, very interesting transit like every other transit because it brings something new in our life. It can bring changes, opportunities, disruptions, failures. It can bring wealth and so many other things, okay? Now, if you see what is happening, Jupiter, Mars, they are aspecting Venus during this transit, okay, in Capricorn. So now uh, it's a bit weird because Jupiter and Venus are enemies, but... Venus gets exalted in Jupiter's sign, right? So they are not literally enemies in that sense. They are enemies which don't like each other, but at least Venus does good in signs of Jupiter, okay? At least it does great in Pisces, uh, not the best in Sagittarius. And Mars is also aspecting. Now, this is the seventh aspect of Mars. So what could happen during this transit? So need to understand that this is a transit which could bring some insecurities within your relationships and some insecurities in your spiritual life also. So it's like saying uh, this is a time where uh, you could sometimes feel that, you know, maybe you are not good enough for your spouse. OK, or maybe your spouse might accuse you of <laughs> not being good enough. OK, so it, it kind of depends uh, what is going on in your chart, which dashas you are running. OK. But what is important is that you need to understand that this transit is going to challenge you. Okay? Challenge you in the sense you have to you have to prove yourself. So whenever Mars is associated with any transit, there is always a task to prove not yourself, but uh, prove something to somebody. Okay, or maybe you might have to become a negotiator between two people where you are trying to prove that this person is better than that person and because jupiter's aspect is there so it can certainly mean that you you believe what is right so it's not that you just um, you are just trying to say something so when jupiter's transit uh, aspect is there in transit so then you you actually are fully convinced of your actions uh, but now mars is a malefic so it's like saying mm, you believe something, but somebody has somebody is asking you, but I don't believe you. Please prove it to me. So you might encounter uh, a similar situation with the lordships of Venus, which means uh, depending on your ascendant, whichever houses Venus rules in your chart. So Venus, as you know, rules Libra and Taurus, right? So whichever houses these two houses. So for example, if say Venus is your tenth lord, so. Somebody in your profession may ask you, you know, okay, you really believe you can do this? Take up the challenge and show it to me that you can do it. So therefore, if you have, uh, if you, if you are going to face such a scenario, then don't worry, try your best <laughs> to prove yourself because you have to do it. Now, why I'm saying this scenario might arise because See, currently, if you see Venus is in Sagitt Sagittarius and this transit is um, being affected by Rahu and Ketu as of now, okay, as of now, Venus is still in Sagittarius. So the Rahu Ketu's Kendra uh, placement is affecting this. So whenever Rahu Ketu comes in Kendra, 
to any planet in transit or either ways you know a planet comes in transit uh, then what happens is you there are some disruptions in regards to that planet so whenever there is a disruption there is some there, there is a change so something breaks and now what can happen is when venus enters capricorn you may have two options either you let it break or you decide that no i i, I will keep it I, I will prove it to myself and to others also so therefore, uh, if you feel that uh, something has broken and somebody accuses you of breaking something, so you need to make a decision that uh, is it something which you really want to decide, which you really want to um, change or do you want to let it be as it is, okay? You know, and especially Venus is your seventh lord, you know, your spouse could, you know, accuse you of, you know, changing something which you should have not. Or somebody might uh, tell you that, you know, you have changed, okay? So then again, it is up to you. You want to change, uh, you, you want to continue that change or you want to roll back, okay? <clears throat> so therefore, it is very important that you understand why these transits uh, bring certain events, okay? Because our karma has to be fructified and certain things will appear in our life as far as our karma. So therefore, if you feel that, uh, at a karmic level, there is some injustice which has happened to you. Then maybe now, now is the time when Venus uh, enters Capricorn. Uh, now is the time that you have to speak up and you have to make sure you do that. Okay. And uh, if you if you actually enjoy doing that, then don't worry. You will uh, you 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 will be able to prove yourself. It might happen that you are doing something completely new, revolutionary, new, and you know people are not very happy with it. Okay. So, for example, as I said, you know, if Venus is your fourth lot, might be something related to your uh, house. You are doing some something new. You are disrupting something. And then, you know, maybe your neighbors have a problem with it or your spouse or your mother or somebody close. They have a problem with it. And they are wondering if, you know, if they can help you or uh, should you continue this? Okay, so uh, now for you, it is very important that you understand that till the time Venus is in Sagittarius, uh, until the time it has not entered Capricorn, the disruption is still going on. And therefore, you might face the test when Venus enters Capricorn. So if you face the test, don't, don't panic. Just give the test. It's just a test and you, you don't have to think, you know, it's like the end of the world. Okay, so try your best and leave the rest to God. Uh, do your best but one thing is very important which is you need to be sincere okay if we are not sincere when jupiter's aspect is there then uh, we get punished by saturn okay so therefore if if there is a if there are some disruptions then uh, don't worry but ask yourself this question why did i start this this in the first place uh, was it me who wanted this or did i do it to please somebody else okay so now is the time you will be tested on your relationships and you will understand if it is worth uh, staying with someone or you know continuing a particular relationship you know it could be a personal or business relationship or with a friend because suddenly you may realize that what is the use of relationships if somebody does not trust what i do or what i say right so therefore if you feel that you are not being trusted then maybe it's time to leave okay but if they have some misunderstanding against you and that person originally supported you and in general supports you, then it's worth the, um, yeah, it's worth the battle basically, okay? So therefore, uh, don't try to, uh, you, you, you might, you might try to uh, make peace and be in, in between and try to uh, keep the balance. But unfortunately, there could be a situation where uh, you have to either make it or break it, okay? So don't feel guilty if it is required, uh, but be truthful to yourself. And don't lie to yourself. Don't assume, don't beat around the bush. You know, whatever is there, be there with honesty because Jupiter and Mars are involved. These two planets like honesty. So if you can't do something, raise your hands and say, I can't. If you can, then well, do it. That's great. So you don't have to think that uh, you have to uh, satisfy everybody. So try to satisfy yourself first and then try to satisfy others. 
otherwise what happens is you will end up making too many sacrifices and you will feel exploited by other people all right thank you so much for your patience and uh, don't worry if you required give the fight and you will be victorious all right please take care thank you so much if you're new then please subscribe and for consultations please go to my website down thank you jai shri ram